Hi, this is Alex Barnes with Cornerstone Wealth Group. Thank you for joining us today. As you can see, the video for today is, why should you have a financial plan? Um, Cornerstone Wealth Group, just as a firm, really believes in the power and the importance of a financial plan. We are not just investment advisors. We really work with our clients to make sure that they have a plan. So if you're a client that works with us, you already understand some of the topics that I'll be going over today. And if you're new to this video or to the firm, uh, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. And if you do have any questions or want to reach out to us, please don't hesitate. So why should you have a financial plan? Um, what Cornerstone really believes in, and, and kind of part of what our motto is, is clarity and confidence. And that clarity and confidence is what prepares you for the unknowns in life. So I'll use this as a common theme. I like to say, you know, a financial plan is like having your GPS up on your phone when you're going from point A to point B. So if you're at your house and you're just going around the corner to your neighbor's house, to the grocery store, you know how to get there. If you're going from point A to the opposite side of the country, you need a map and you want to know how to get there the most efficiently, the fastest. Uh, along the way, you want to avoid all the traffic stops. You want to avoid accidents when they pop up. And that's what a financial plan does. So financial plans help you uh, work towards better financial habits and helps you set measurable goals, just like a, a map. If I am halfway on my trip and it says I should have been a certain amount of time in, I want to make sure if I'm there and if I'm not, what caused it? And that's what a financial plan does. So clarity and confidence, it, re it reduces the uncertainty. Uh, and those with a financial plan, 83% feel better after their finance or with their finances after just one year, which makes sense. Again, if I, if I have a point that I'm at right now and I say, hey, in 12 months from now, I want to have a savings account built up for emergency funds, or I want to have invested a certain amount to go towards my savings, or I want to have purchased an insurance policy that I know will, you know, prepare my family if I'm not there anymore. Those are the things that, you know, a financial plan will help you, will help you do. And it'll help you track that progress along the way and continue to increase that confidence. So preparing for the unknowns in life, like I said, the blind spots, the weak areas, the car, the accidents along the way, you got to change your route. That's where a comprehensive picture, you know, will help you. Hey, what's my emergency funds? How many, how much do I need? What should be important to focus on? My debt to income ratio. What happens if I lose my income? I lose my job. My spouse loses their job. We go through a recession. You know, the economy is not doing so well. Can I manage my debt? Is it appropriate for what I have? Your savings and investments. So again, preparing for the future, the long term. How am I, you know, planning for retirement in ten years, twenty years, thirty years? How do I get there? Uh, and then again, finally, healthcare insurance. You know, the some of the biggest potholes in life or the unknowns are a health problem. You, you know, things that you just don't know about until they happen. How do you prepare for those or be prepared for those? So having a planner versus those who don't, as you see, this is um, very clear that you know planners will help you make sure that you have an emergency fund. Be aware of fees, investment costs, things that you may not you know kind of catch on to on your own. Regularly rebalance your portfolio. So you know follow the macroeconomic cycle and make sure that your portfolio is suitable for where we're at in the economy. Um, and then again, one of the more interesting ones is never carry a credit card balance, make payments on time and have no debt. Things that seem obvious and you're probably thinking, oh, I do that anyways, but not everybody does. And having a planner helps you stay focused on those goals. So again, goals, they can be short term, they can be long term, saving up for a new purchase, paying off a credit card, Longer term, preparing for retirement, paying off your mortgage, saving for college, things like that. And then one of the other things is planning can start at any age. So financial planning is not just for somebody who's 20 or 30 or thinking about it at 50, right? I'm, I'm going to start planning because I want to retire in 10 years or 15 years. Planning should be done at every stage of life. Every stage has different potholes. Every stage has a different route that you may have to take, but that's where the financial plan comes in handy. It, it helps you identify point A, where you're at, point B, where you're going. And if that 
plan is a 10 year plan, a 20 year plan or longer, that plan will be measurable and identifiable for you and what you're trying to achieve. So just to wrap things up, a financial plan gives you that clarity and confidence. It allows you to avoid the potholes in life or be prepared for those potholes in life. And it gives you the ability to have identifiable and measurable goals as you go along your path. So thank you again for joining us today. Uh, look back here for additional videos as we will put those out throughout the rest of this year. You can also go to our website at cwgadvisors.com where we will post these videos as well as additional content. And please reach out to us if you have any questions.